Well, you step up on the deck in the early morning mist, praying hopefully that you won't miss. You strip out some line, practice a thousand times. God says, dead ahead, moving to the left. See a tail fin swirl, nothing matters in the world. But the perfect presentation of the fly You lift your rod tip You pull back and flip Watch that perfect loop As it unfurls The cast The strike The swirl The cast The strike The run You're watching the Real Deal Fishing Show. We got a great episode coming up for you. Since watermelon wacky wigged uh, Sunco, he hit it actually very aggressively, not even on the fall. Actually, no, it was swimming he hit it, which is an aggressive bite. Usually, they'll hit it on the fall. So, uh, that's a little guy. There you go. That's how we do it here. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're liking the, that, that wacky worm bite. So far, they're hitting uh, two on the wacky worm. <laughs> Little guy. Again on a five inch wacky watermelon Senko. There he is. Little guy looks like a little male almost. Little guy. Feed up for the winter. <laughs> there you go. That bladed bite, but I'm telling you, the weather's getting cooler. They're liking that chatter bait, fishing a chatter bait by Z Man with a zoom fluke on the end. This is the ticket, this little green pumpkin color. Throwing on my Denali rod and lose a speed spool. We're connected. I'm loving it out here with my buddy Steve. Let's see what we do on today's Real Deal Fishing Show. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to match the hatch. Whatever you see happening, be very observant to what's happening in the water, water temperature, and also cloud cover. Once it got cloudy and the water got that chop on it, it was a prime time to throw bladed baits. So chatter baits, spinner baits are the prime deal when you're targeting fall bass. Of course, a War Eagle spinnerbait. No, I can't say that. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Fish don't want the moving bait today. A little water temperature, they are getting active. Getting on the spinnerbaits, chatterbaits. Looks like a little bit of a shad bluegill color spinnerbait um, on a willow leaf blade. Hook them also on the trail hook. So, a little male bass. Okay. Got him. Back he goes. So what's happening this time of the year, Steve? Well, right now the water's cooling down. Obviously the days are getting shorter. And usually this day, what I find is a light level too. As the days get shorter, the fish definitely impacts them. I think even more so than the water temperature does. I think light affects uh, the days getting shorter. It definitely affects where the feeding pattern is. And a lot of times you'll find the bite even increase more as the morning goes on. Not so much first thing in the morning anymore. So, uh, and we found this morning that the fish have been biting relating to about five feet of water. We're going around three or two and a half feet of water, not getting bit. It seems like that five foot range has been the uh, depth range we're holding at right now. So, Let's keep working on it. Yeah. yeah, keep tossing that thing. Thank you. Ah, Mr. Nolly Jade Wood Custom Spinnerbait Rod throwing that Z Man Chatter Bait. That's the ticket today. Weather's a little cooler, we're in our jackets. It's that time of the year, but as long as you change when you're fishing, bladed bite, we're connecting. Decent little bass, we're going to let him go. go. Go tell the bigger ones that we're here, okay? Cool. Good job. When you're fishing in the fall, it can be very slow or it can be very productive. you got to get out there you got a power fish. When I'm fishing in the fall, I'm casting to as much locations as I can. 
Um, you want to fish fast. You want to throw fast moving baits, but before you leave an area, throw a worm, throw a jig. Because if they didn't bite 15 casts of that spinner bait before you leave that area, I would like to rig up a worm and throw it out. Here we go, the fishing changed a little bit. We're out here and they don't want it fast no more, so we switched. Steve's, he, he's throwing a jig. I'm throwing a rye bait worm here. The Urami worm. This is a good little ticket out here. I have it rigged up on a jig head and I'm fishing it right through weeds. It's falling down into them and I'm ripping it right through. And as you can see, they are loving that worm. That's a great fall to it. So let me throw him back in the water. Let's see what else we do on today's Real Deal Fishing Show. Number two on the Yarami Worm from Riot Baits. Have it rigged with a jig head. It's a 1 8 ounce jig head. And I'm ripping it right through the weeds. And they're acting on it. They're, they're, that bite is good. It's a strong bite today. We're going to put this guy back. Right now we're moving back to a little deeper water. We're going to find a bite around five feet of water or so. so. We're heading back up again, let the wind drift us back down again and see if we can pick up uh, some more fish. We'll try some more moving bait, some jigs right now. Uh, the action slowed a little bit, so we're going to head back up where we're hitting this morning and see if uh, the area is still productive. So we'll give it a shot. Here you go. Bait, vertical, vertical presentation bite. <laughs> Gave it a good solid hit. Got him on the trailer hook and the regular hook. He took both in. You find it's very good when you're fishing that to fish it with a trailer. Yeah, usually, usually you do. You won't. You'll miss some of the strikes if you don't have one on. And. Um, Sometimes you don't need it, but a lot of times you do keep it on. I usually fish it, say 95% of the time, put a trailer on just to get that missed bite to hit it from behind. So, nice little bass, and we'll put it back. It's a War Eagle spinnerbait, 3 8 ounce. There we go, straighten her up. I see that spinnerbait you're using. I'm going to zoom in. Looks like a sunfish, a little bit of chartreuse in it. Nice. Silver gold blades, wool leaf blades. It's a right pretty fast above the weeds. I'm the jerk bait, a little uh, mega strike. <laughs> mega strike. <laughs> Wrong company. Mega bass. <laughs> what would you say to people who want to come out in weather like this? The water's get, getting cooler. Definitely come out and do it. The fish is still biting. The water's actually warm. We have about 7 degree water temperature. Uh, dropping a little bit. The fish are getting active. We're starting to chase jerk baits, chatter baits, spinner baits. Uh, so top water baits. So they're definitely they're definitely biting. They're definitely they'll, they'll, they'll hit until they get, till the ice comes up. Yeah. It's fall fishing here in New Jersey. Leaves are turning colors. People are going apple picking and pumpkin picking. Let me tell you something. You want to catch bass, now is the time to get out on the water. I like throwing bladed baits in the fall. Ticket to success right now is a chatter bait. I love throwing these. I'm catching big hogs on my Denali custom spinner bait rod. The chatter bait equals big fish. I'm telling you, we haven't been fishing long. He bit it right on the drop. Trophy largemouth bass fishing that chatter bait nice and slow and bringing it back. Jimmy Houston loving on today's real deal. Awesome, having fun, that's what it's about. Get out fall fishing. New Jersey's lakes, ponds, rivers, streams. Catch fish, baby, yeah. Let's let this chunker go.